Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create an awesome number flip animation in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful number flip animation you will learn to create today looks like this. Observe how the numbers flip from 1 to 9. On a click 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, boom. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Now let me show you how to create this awesome number flip animation from scratch. So let us go to a new slide and I already have these numbers written. It is nothing but a simple text box with a number and it is Arial Black in 166 font size. So it is a very simple thing. You know how to do it and that's the reason why I don't want to repeat the process. I'm going to cut these numbers in half. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up a line tool and then hold the shift button down as you draw a line and select all the items here on the slide and let us go to arrange align and say align middle and that will ensure that this line is smack in the middle of these numbers and that will give us a guidance factor for us to cut this in two halves then let me go to auto shapes menu pick up the rectangle tool and i'm going to draw a rectangle you don't really have to bother about the width of this rectangle right now all we need is a rectangle that sits right on top of this line and once we are done i'm going to delete this line i'm going to select all the shapes by clicking and dragging my cursor across all the shapes here then let us go to format merge shapes and we are going to do what is called as fragment so format merge shapes and say fragment and that breaks down everything into individual pieces so let us take this delete let us take this piece delete and now we have this piece if you require you can keep it or you can delete it now you can see we have each of these numbers divided into individual pieces now we have four numbers divided into uh, equal halves now to make it easy for us to follow the instructions i'm going to give the top numbers a different color just uh, now you see that I'm using shape fill because these are not numbers anymore. We have already cut them into uh, shapes and that is the reason why I'm going to give it a different number, different color, say yellow color. Now that looks beautiful. The next thing I'm going to do is to select each of them and I'm going to group. So number two, both the pieces are selected and grouped. Control G, Control G. So now what I have is four groups. Each group has a number split in half. So that is what we have got so far. The next thing we are going to do is to create a box, a box that covers the top portion and then one that covers the bottom portion. So let us go to the rectangle tool and let us draw a box. Yeah, that looks like a decent one. And uh, let us give it say an orange color. No, sorry, no outline. And I'm going to uh, send it to back. And let me make a copy of this by holding the control button down and I'm going to uh, pull it down and I'm going to place this right below the earlier one and let me give it another color maybe uh, say this green color and I'm going to send it to back. Now what we have is an orange box and a green box so I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to group it and I'm going to make copies of this and I'm going to place this right behind each of these numbers. As you can see here, I am holding the control button down as I'm moving to the new position and just to make sure that all these are properly aligned. So I'm going to select all these and let us go to arrange align and say align tops. Now we need to select these and send to back. Now all we need to do is to select both the groups and then go to arrange and say align center. Now I've got the align center as one of the quick access toolbar options. So I'm going to use just that. So I'm going to select both of them and go here and align center. Same way, go here and align center. Now, so far what we have done is we have taken these numbers, broken them into halves and then placed these boxes behind them. And then we made sure that these boxes are able to house the various parts. Now I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to group, ungroup. So everything is uh, divided. Now I'm going to select the orange box and the top half of the number and I'm going to press control G. And I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the elements as well. As you can see, it's a slightly time intensive process, but then the result is definitely worth it. And I'm going to do this. Now we have eight pieces here. It is time to do the animation. And here is where the fun begins. Let us go to animations tab. 
go to animation pane so you can clearly observe what I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is for the top half of one, I'm going to select that one and I'm going to add an exit animation and the exit animation is under more exit effects and it is called as collapse and you would be able to see this here in moderate called collapse and I'm going to say OK and the way the collapse is going to happen is you go here and go to to bottom so that is how it is going to collapse all right now after this collapses we are going to have this one disappear so that is the next animation we are going to have this disappear so add animation and say disappear and this has to happen after previous while that is happening we need to have the bottom portion of number two enter with a particular animation now I'm going to go to more entrance effects and I'm going to use an animation called stretch as you can see here moderate stretch I'm going to say OK and the effect options is going to be from top and this is going to happen with previous so let me quickly repeat on a click this one collapses down this one disappears and at the same time this one stretches out so those are the three animations that you see here and I'm going to select all three of them and I'm going to give a duration of 0.01 seconds beautiful now see how this one works here on a click this is how it needs to happen we are going to do that for the rest of the pieces as well so I'm going to select all the top ones and go to add animation and we are going to say more exit effects and if you remember we have decided to have collapse and say OK and effect options to bottom and we are going to have all of this in 0.01 seconds so we have got one bit done and the next step is all the bottom portions are going to have an animation called disappear animation so I've, I went to add animation and said disappear and naturally the duration is auto you can have it as 0 0.01 seconds just to be sure if you want so we have got another set of animations and then finally we need to select these two go to add animation more entrance effects under moderate go for stretch and say ok go from top and have this as 0 0.01 and now we have another set of animation ready now the reason why I have not added the stretch animation for this is I've already got that done so that is the point now we've got all the animation in place we just need to do a bit of rejuggling of the order we have already done the animation for number one going to number two so we are going to continue the animation we have got the number two the first animation already ready which is about collapse now the second one has to be the disappear one you can see that this is the disappear and this has to happen after previous so I have moved this to the next position to the number two here and I'm going to say after previous and then I said for the bottom half of number three we are going to have the entrance effect so isolate this one so group 41 you click on that one and then move that right next to the earlier one and say with previous beautiful now we have got the top one and let us have this on click now the bottom one needs to disappear so we have taken that and the disappear needs to come right after uh, the collapse and the bottom half of four and you can see here this is an entrance animation and I'm going to take this and move it right next to the previous one and then let us have the next one as on click so that is it now all we need to do is to arrange all this one behind the other so I'm going to right click center back and put it behind right click center back put it behind right click center back put it behind same way right click center back put it behind right click center back put it behind I know you are going to fall asleep with my <laughs> instructions so done now I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to say align objects center now it is done let us move all this to the center here and let us go to the slideshow on a click one flips to two then three then four and then it goes off so that is how we create this beautiful number flip animation you like today's video great just think about this it's one thing to learn PowerPoint by picking up useful tips and tricks from different places but if you want to truly master PowerPoint and get some meaningful business results you need to go through a structured training program and that is why I created Ram Gopal's PowerPoint mastery program 
It's arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. Whether you are a rank beginner or an advanced user of PowerPoint, the lessons inside the program will take your skills to the next level. And more importantly, every lesson inside the program is laser focused to improve your business presentation skills. So please click on the link below in the description area to find out more details about Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. And by the way, as a thank you gift for watching this video this far, I have put together a useful free mini training called Learn 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas to make your slides slick and interesting. If you're a business owner, an executive, a trainer, or a consultant, you will find these 25 creative ideas extremely useful. You can sign up for the free mini training by clicking on the button here. I'll also leave a link to the mini training in the description area below this video. So please sign up and I'll see you inside the mini training.